All right, everybody, what is going on? Needs more drums back in Farming Simulator 22 in what is likely going to be the last installment of our getting started tutorial series for now, just because this kind of we've kind of covered all the basics of the game. And I know there's still things like forestry and animal care and, you know, all that. But we'll get to that later um, with with, you know, everything I've that I've gone over here. This is plenty to uh, keep you busy in Farming Simulator, and it is a lot to take in and, you know, learn how to work with all of these different crop types and such. So we're just going to uh, start this episode off today uh, by showing you guys how to do some grass work. And there's a, quite a bit that goes into grass work. Um, it is, you know, there, there's a few different uh, reasons why grass is important. There's a few different products that you can make from grass, uh, many different applications for it. So just starting over here, you know, we do need a lot of uh, different types of equipment. Um, for today's episode. So I'm just going to kind of run through real quick what all of those are. So attached to our tractor here, we have a mower. And then we have a tether here. Then here's our baler from the harvesting episode, same one. Then we have a wind rower. Back there is a bale wrapper. And then here we have a forage wagon. And so everything except for the bale wrapper actually did come with the map. I just figured I'd, you know, cover all the bases and want to show you guys how to how to make some silage and uh, do some different things. So, uh, yeah. So essentially, speaking of silage, so there's essentially three applications for grass in Farming Simulator. One of them is just regular grass. You could cut it, bale it, and sell it just as is. Or you can. Uh, it is actually an ingredient in feed for certain animals. Specifically, I think cows uh, need regular grass. The second application for grass is hay. So essentially hay is just dried grass. So we're going to mow it, uh, run over it with a tether to dry it out. And then, you know, we can, um, we can, uh, wind row it and bale it or pick it up with our forage wagon in bulk, uh, if we don't want to bale it. But, um, anyway, hay is just dried grass. Okay. So the third thing is silage. Now silage is grass that we cut. We don't tet it. We leave it you know, because the tether drives the grass to turn it into hay. So we don't want to turn it into hay. So we leave it as is, but then we do go through and windrow it. And then we can either bale it or pick it up with our forage wagon and put it in what's called a, a bunker silo. I believe in this map, there's actually a fermenting silo, which essentially looks like this. You just dump the grass in it and then it will ferment into silage. Essentially, silage is just fermented grass. It has to sit for a little while to uh, kind of break down and, you know, then all the nutrients become extracted and it's, you know, more nutritious and used as a feed for uh, cows as part of total mix ration, which, you know, we won't get to in this episode, but um, it's also important. You can also sell, uh, sell silage to, you know, various cell points throughout different maps, specifically any map that has a BGA, uh, like a biogas plant. Um, they take silage because it'll, they'll break it down and convert it into energy and it, you know, pays, uh, they, they pay you a hefty sum for it. So silage is really profitable. It's a great uh, go-to product when you first start off a farm and you need money desperately, just cut some grass and make some silage. It's, you know, hands down the, the quickest and easiest way to make money, in my opinion. And I think a lot of other people would say that as well. But um, you don't have to make silage. There's plenty of other applications for grass. And so today we're going to go over how to do all of them. So the first step, we're going to jump on a tractor here. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is just cut this grass field, and uh, you know, get get it all get it all ready to go, so we can actually work with it. So this is not my favorite mower, to be honest. I I don't really like using this one too much. Uh, I like there's some of them that are kind of like three piece mowers where there's it attached to the front, and then it goes off it. Um, uh, the one on the back has like two sides that kind of fold down, so it's pretty pretty hefty to work with. But anyway, this is fine for now. So we're just gonna go through here and. Cut this field really quick and it also before we do this it is important to note grass is a special crop in the sense that uh, i know i didn't really cover this when we were doing our planting and everything but you plant grass with a regular cedar and then um, you can plant it pretty much any time of the year except for winter and the cool thing about grass is that it grows back every year so you don't need to replant your grass fields um every year you just you just plant it and then you just let it grow and yeah and you can cut it you know a couple times a year so if you have it 
planned out the right way. Typically, I think you can get two or at least two cuts, maybe three. So you should be able to get a cut, uh, you know, kind of in the spring, in the springtime, definitely another cut in the summer. And if you do it early enough in the spring, you might actually even be able to get another cut in the fall. And so grass, you can, you can cut it at essentially any stage except the, like the very first stage, but, um, your yield will be significantly lower if you cut it too early. Uh, not saying that, you know, you, you'll still get a crop, but you won't get as great of a crop as if you just waited a little bit. So there's actually, uh, different crops have a different number of growth stages. I want to say that grass actually has three growth stages and then, um, like a harvesting stage. So you can actually cut the grass and get a pretty hefty crop, a pretty hefty yield after the third growth stage. And that is also known as the foraging stage. But if you wait one more stage, then you'll get the uh, ready to harvest stage and that will give you the most yield on the crop. And you can notice that it, it'll, it'll go from sort of like this shorter, you know, type of grass to this really, really tall, I mean, not really tall, but like, I think this is, you know, it's, it's noticeably taller than some of the other uh, grass that's just sitting in the map. Um, so, you know, there's, it, th there's uh, rewards for being patient. <laughs> but yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just, just mow the rest of this field and then I will uh, chat with you guys in a second. All right, so we just got done mowing the field. Now let's go ahead and hook up to, let me think. So the first thing that I want to do is just bale the regular grass so we'll go ahead and hook up to um our our wind rower first so that we can actually put the grass into oh whoops gotta fold this back up and i want to put the grass into nice uh well wind rows because that way it's way way easier to work with with the baler yeah so essentially all we do with the wind rower here is just unfold it and then we're just simply going to drive over this newly mowed field and um, we'll just put it into a nice row for us like so. See how this will be way easier to work with with the baler. All right, yeah, so now if we just go ahead and grab the baler, turn it on, go right over this one row here, we have what will become grass bales. And so, like I said, once we get this bale, you know, made, we can uh, we can actually sell this directly or use it for, um, for uh, potentially food for animals if we have animals that just grass. I think, I think it's just like cows and sheep that eat grass, if I'm not mistaken. But um, anyway, so yeah, so that's, that's one thing that we could do with the, uh, with, with these uh, with these grass bales, and then the other thing, which I'll show you in a second, is we will wrap them and make them into silage bales, which will fetch a much higher profit, and um, they are also an important part of food for certain animals, specifically cows. I think are the only ones that really need silage bales, but it could be wrong. But I know for a fact that they definitely need those. <laughs> All right, so now we've uh, attached our bale wrapper, and so this is how you turn grass bales into silage bales. Essentially, all we're gonna do, very, very simple, just drive up close to the grass bale. It'll detect it. We'll just let it uh, finish wrapping it real quick here in the uh, whatever foil wrap it is, plastic or something, I don't know. <laughs> but now it'll just drop this down right here and there we go there's our raft bale and so after a little while yeah so right now it is still fermenting as you can see in the bottom right there it is currently only grass but then as it ferments it usually takes i think about an like an in-game in month so if you have months set to uh you know one day is a month then it'll take a day if it like right now i have three day months so it should take three days it'll ferment to 100 percent so you just leave these and um, you know you can store them somewhere you could leave them on the field whatever you want to do they will just sit there and ferment and then once they're uh, fully fermented they will have become silage bales and you can use them as such so now the other 
thing to do with grass is to make hay. And hay just involves the extra step of tedding the grass, tether, to dry it out before you actually go through and windrow it and bale it. So we just back up here and hook this up. And this does not take long to do. Grass work is always uh, pretty quick. You know, just sometimes you have multiple steps, but the each step itself does, doesn't take very long to do because these tools can operate at pretty high speed. So now if I just turn this on, you'll notice that the grass turns a much lighter color, meaning that it has been dried and it is now going to be turned into hay. So this is all you need to do. Pretty simple. And then once we're done with this, uh, we'll go ahead and hook up to the wind rower and then the um, again same same rules apply you could bail it or you could pick it up with a forage wagon and just you know drop it in bulk move it in bulk sell it in bulk doesn't really matter but yeah the easiest way that I find to do it is, is with a baler I think it you know is really organized and um, you know you can store bales pretty easily just anywhere on your farm but uh, rather, th rather than just having like a pile of hay sitting somewhere. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and hook up to our wind rower and then uh, move on to the next steps. And again, just going through this with our wind rower here, just to make it really, really easy to pick up with the baler or a forage wa wagon, whatever your personal preference. I would highly recommend doing this as it you would literally have to go through every single square inch of surface area uh, on this field to pick it all up, you know, if you didn't use a, a wind rower, so it really makes it a lot easier. I know it's an extra step, but trust me, it's well worth it. And so hopefully that's good enough for uh, for one grass bale. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this and go hook up the baler. I'll show you guys how to make hay bales. And so as you can see in the bottom right there, instead of the, uh, the dark green grass icon, we have a different icon for hay. It's a little bit lighter. Let's go ahead and make a bale real quick here. And then... Um, Pretty much, pretty much it for hay bales. Uh, you you don't have to wrap them, uh, and I don't even think you you can wrap them. <laughs> or if you can, you definitely shouldn't because hay is not meant to be fermented. Uh, it serves a different purpose. Um, animals do eat hay. I believe that sheep definitely do. Horses might. I don't remember exactly. Uh, and then you know, keep in mind you can also just sell it. And it's also it's also a ingredient in a total mixed ration for your cows. Now, if we go ahead and just jump out here, we can see that this is, in fact, a hay bale. Down there on the bottom right, it says we have 4,500 liters of hay. And that's it. That's pretty much um, grass in Farming Simulator 22. Just real quick here, I'll show you guys one more thing. Just so you know what I'm talking about when I say this. So this is a forage wagon. And as you can see, we'll just... It functions, you know, kind of similar to a baler. You just have to turn it on, lower the pickup header, and then you can just drive over your windrow and it will put it into the trailer in bulk. And so you could just dump this wherever, you know, if you have a silo or something, um, you know, you can keep hay in or like a hay loft. You could store it up there too. No big deal. Very simple to operate. But that's it. That's grass in Farming Simulator 22. Not as uh, daunting as you might think. Pretty, uh, pretty easy to work with. And it's, you know, serves a lot of purposes. It has a lot of different functions and can really make you some good money. Um, you just need a few types of equipment, but no big deal. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these tutorial videos. And I do want to post some more just, you know, for, uh, for some other things. But um, for now, this should be plenty to get you started. As always, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a like, and even better, subscribe to the channel if you want to, you know, see some more Farming Simulator videos and probably some City Skyline stuff too in the future. It is much appreciated. Thank you again. Hope you all have a great week, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Peace.